Doctor Who magazine 60th anniversary poll results reaction. Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd do something different like I say and do every week. Because <laughs> that's how I roll baby. Oh dear, I can't pull that off can I? Um, so I, I thought I would la take a look at the 60th anniversary poll results in Doctor Who magazine. They've finally done another poll. Considerably, uh, they used to do it every five years. This is the first time they've done it in like ten, presumably in a desperate bid to jo to p protect Jodie Whittaker, and then an even more desperate bid to protect Jodie Whittaker. They've done it in a different way, so that each doctor gets a different poll ranking, because they sure as hell don't want to put out a poll showing Jodie Whittaker at the bottom of the pile and all her stories at the bottom of the pile. Ooh, we can't have that now, can we? Anyway, they've done the first six. And I, I, I haven't, I think I've seen maybe one of them, but I can't remember what it was. And I found a site that's got all the results. So I'm going to look at the results and give you my response to it, which I expect will include lots of exclamations of what the f is wrong with you people. Because you know me and fandom. Uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Here we go to the poll results of the Hartnells. Okay. Um, oh, well, that's wrong for a start. <laughs> Top of the list is Dalek Invasion of Earth. I don't agree with that, I have to be honest. Uh, second place is the Time Meddler. That should absolutely be in first place, in, in my opinion. Dalek's Master Plan in third place. I don't see how you can vote for that because nobody's seen it for 60 years, but okay. Um... Bottom of the pile is the Web Planet, which seems a little harsh. Really? The Ark comes ahead of the gunfighters? Really? And the, and the Galaxy 4? And the Space Museum? Really? The Ark? Honestly, I think that's probably Hartnell's worst story, in my opinion, but okay. You know what the tastes of fandom are like. <laughs> the Rescue comes in, like, 13th place, which seems a bit low to me. Chase is in 15th place. That's very low. Far too low. Yeah, I, you know, I'm glad to see the time meddler up, 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 up near the top. But it should be at the top. And uh, otherwise, I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> There's a shock. <laughs> uh, on to Troughton. Uh, War Games at the top, as indeed it was uh, last time. Wow, look at that, look at that though. 2009 it was in 5th place and 98 it was in ninth place. Last, in 2014 and now it, it's 1st place. I, I kind of agree with that. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I don't agree with Tomb in 2nd place, honestly. Really? Ahead of Power, Invasion and Web? Really? No, I don't think so, Tim. Um... I, I, it's, I'm, I'm glad to see Power Invasion and Web so high. They absolutely should be. Moonbase should be higher. How the hell is the Moonbase lower than Abominable Snowman? Really? Really? I don't think so, Tim. Um, and bottom of the pile is the Space Pirates. I mean, I guess nobody's seen it, really, apart from one episode. I still put Dominators in last place, personally. That's just me, and I still don't understand how Seeds of Death beat the Ice Warriors. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, that one's not too bad, I suppose. I agree with most of it, if not all of it. Yeah. On to the third Doctor. Uh, oh dear, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, Inferno, top of the pile. Yeah, okay, I have no problem with that. How the fuck is the Green Death ahead of Spearhead from Space? Really? Really? The Green Death? I think all this video is going to be is me going, Really? Really? <laughs> no. Wrong. <laughs> Again, I don't hate the Green Death. I don't think it's particularly great, though. I certainly don't think it's one of Pertwee's absolute best. And ahead of Spearhead and Three Doctors? No. No, the demons I've warmed to a little bit more the last time I saw it, but 
I, still, I, I would not put it higher than Three Doctors or, or, or Carnival of Monsters or Day. <sighs> Day deserves higher than 11th place. I'd, again, Sea Devils is way too fucking high. It's one of the dullest Pertwee stories. I don't get it at all. It's really boring. Uh, Dinosaurs should be way higher. Ambassadors should be way higher. What's bottom of the pile? Uh, time Monster. Well, they, oh, they got that. They got that right. Though how the mutants even... Though how the mutants, which is in like third to last place, it, it, it even managed to scrape above uh, Monster of Peladon? I, I, I don't know. I mean, neither of them are particularly great, but I, 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 if you forced me at gunpoint, I'd, I'd rather sit through Monster of Peladon than the mutants. Any day of the bloody week. Oh, well. Uh, uh, fourth Doctor. Woohoo! City of Death in first place. Now, that's what I call a result. A rare show of good taste from fandom there. <laughs> um... Genesis in second place, really? Okay. Why? <sighs> Fuck, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's good to see Fang Rock in the top ten. Talons and Seeds I generally agree with. Maybe Assassin. <sighs> State of Decay's gone up but not high enough. It should be far higher than that. Rival's Operation in 20th place. Oh, do fuck off. What is wrong with you people? About fandom, about your taste. Get some. Fuck me. <laughs> Sunmakers in 29th place. Go away. Go away. How the hell does... I mean, what the fuck? Hand of, how the hell does a hand of fear... The hand of fear... Fear beat Face of Evil, Fendel, Mask, Sunmakers, Destiny. You people are mental. You really are. And Armageddon, in fact, is like fifth from bottom, with, with, and which is ridiculous. Actually, most the last, the last like bottom five are just ridiculous. Apart from Underworld, which absolutely deserves to be there because it's a piece of shit. But Nymon, Megalos, Power, Armageddon Factor. These are like five, four of the best fucking stories. They're certainly better than shite like fucking Leisure Hive, Revenge of the Cybermen, Android. Ev oh, go fuck yourselves, fandom. You're out of your bloody mind. Were you all dropped on your head as a child? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus. God, fandom just never fails to make me put my head in my hands. How stupid you all are. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to calm down before my blood pressure explodes. Fifth Doctor results. Okay, well, I agree with top three. Not necessarily in that order, but top three is okay. Caves, Earthshock, Five Doctors. Predictable, but generally accurate, I would say. I think I probably might, I might drop Caves to third place myself, but there you go. I don't... Kinder, really? What? In fourth place? No, I don't see it. Why? You know, you know, you know what they say about Kinder, don't they? It, 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 it's the it's the stupid person's idea of an intelligent story. It's, it's so accurate because it's not clever, it's not thought provoking, it's boring as fuck. The plot makes no sense, but they throw a few random things in that look a bit like that, that look a bit religious. So stupid people think it's smart. <laughs> it's crap. How the hell does it beat Enlightenment? I mean, give me a break. Resurrection in in sixth place again proves that fandom's just more interested in bangs and flashes than in anything resembling a good story, because, hello, it's not a good story. Um, <laughs> Black Orchid deserves better than 13th place. Time flight at the bottom. Yeah, okay, I don't really have a problem with that. Warriors next to bottom. I don't really have a problem. I don't really have a problem with the bottom five. Terminus des probably deserves better than that, I would say. It certainly deserves better than Kinder. But the bottom five, yeah, mostly deserve to be there with Kinder shoved in there as well. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, because obviously they haven't done 
the rest of them yet. Yeah, I'll probably do a follow up vid to this uh, with the uh, you know the Seventh Doctor, Eccleston, Tennant, Smithy, and and Capaldi. Don't give a fuck about Whitaker, obviously. Um, so let's go into the Sixth Doctor. There's not that much to choose from. I don't know why that. Oh, hang on a sec. This is something that pissed me off. I don't know if they're going to include it at all in uh, at all. Where the hell is Shardar? Why is Shardar not in the Tom Baker stories? Are we just not including it at all? Because that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. It wasn't broadcast on TV. I don't give a fuck. It was av it's been available to watch for over 30 sodding years now on VHS with the narrated version and now for six, five, six years with the... Oh, God, what is wrong with you? It's also one of the best Tom Baker stories. Grow a brain, DWM. God's sake. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh, they're still fucking... They're still calling an unearthly child of 100,000 BC and all. What is wrong with you, fucking people? <laughs> God. This is why... This is why I don't buy your magazine anymore, DWM. Because you're full of it. Anyway, uh, where were we? Colin Baker's. Revelation, first place. Okay. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Uh, how? What? Try a trial in fourth place over Mark of the Rani and attack? Really? Oh, what is wrong with you people? Twin Dilemma last again. Again, it's ridiculous. I'd rather watch Twin Dilemma than trial. Let alone Time Lash. I don't see how anyone can prefer Time Lash. God. Uh, and what? And again, why? Why do it like this? Colin's got few enough stories as it is. Why not at least split trial up into into the four separate segments? Because it is four separate stories at the end of the day with a linking theme. You may as well just put the key to time season as one thing. That's so fucking stupid. It, that's what it says on screen. I don't care. It's wrong, especially, and it's stupid, especially when the guy's only got eight stories that it is. You could at least make it look 11. Ugh. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Seriously. This is, this is, this is, my, this has been my response to fandom for the last 30 odd years. What the hell is wrong with you people? Oh God! Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I subject myself to this? I knew it was only going to result in me losing my shit. <laughs> God. Um. Okay. Whatever you say. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. I will do, probably do a follow up for the, on the rest of them, except for Whitaker, obviously. Uh, some of them I agree with generally speaking I don't the, the Tom Baker ones in particular are just ludicrous I see fandom is still full of, is still full of brain dead Williams haters with no sense of humour and a giant size can stick up their fucking rectum <sighs> ah bite me <laughs> that, was this a good idea I'm not sure it was anyway <laughs> to be continued, though probably not next week.